I need to say right up front, you need to publish. You need to get your name out there in the academic community. It is, you need to give presentations and journal articles. Uh, you might write books of your own someday. The absolute fastest way to get your name out there with some sort of scholarly input is through an academic book review. There's no peer review. There's no lengthy editorial process. There's no need for uh, collaborators. There's no need for grant funding. You can do this in a couple weeks in your spare time. You and then you write a document. You have a thing and they're typically like 500 to 1200 words long. It depends on the journal. We'll get into that. You'll have a thing that you'll send to an editor and the editor will publish it. And there you are, a published author of an academic book review. There's your name. There's a critical assessment. There's an evaluation that people will read. And we'll get into the audiences of the book review. But there it is. You are now published. You are now a published scholar, a published researcher. You contributed to the academic discourse of your field. You contributed to the larger community's discussion. People are going to read your review and use it. Use it for recommendations. Use it uh, whether to decide whether to use that book for their class or not, or for themselves. You are a part of the discussion. People will agree with you. Some people will disagree with you. The author might agree with you. The author might disagree with you. But you are a part of the discussion. And it's the fastest way to be a part of the discussion. Like I said earlier, it brings you up to date. If you really want to dig deep into a field or see the absolute latest, reading a book and reading the whole thing and taking notes it might take a couple weeks but that's a lot faster than chasing down a whole bunch of disconnected journal articles from different authors because usually an author a book is going to pull multiple sources to build their case uh move in different directions explore different nuances of this new idea they're doing a lot of legwork legwork for you and doing some latest innovative research of their own and so doing the book review brings you up to date. Like I said, it improves your writing and critical skills. I can't say that enough. This is really an opportunity to make yourself a better researcher, a better scholar, a better writer, a better communicator, a better critical thinker. This is a chance. This is an opportunity and you get to do it whether you were asked or not. The act of doing a book review is going to help you. And this is for, we're looking out here in Publication Academy for your own career. We want you to succeed. We want you to be a successful researcher or scholar. We want you to have a great academic life. And part of academic life is participating in the culture of your discipline. That means showing up for conferences. That means asking questions when people give talks or seminars. That means meeting with visitors who swing by your department. That means reaching out and sending emails to some people that might be interesting that you want to talk to. That means writing an academic book review. It is a part of your culture. It is a part of what people are doing in your field. And you need to do it too, because if you don't have any academic book reviews to your name by the time you're looking at tenure, that's going to be interesting. That's a little bit of a red flag. Why are you participating in our academic culture when you should be? This it, it will it will raise a few eyebrows. And there's nothing like critiquing someone else's work to help you critique your own work. You want to write good journal articles. You want to give good conference presentations. You want to write books of your own that have significant scholarly merit that are new are original they are interesting you want them to be well placed in the context of your field where you are making advance that people are going to care about because there's a lot of ways to advance the field where nobody cares you want to do all those things you want to write well you want to give good presentations you want your arguments to be understood you want this for yourself 
<clears throat> so by doing an academic book review, by doing it for someone else, you identify sources of strengths and sources of weaknesses. You identify what works and what doesn't work. <clears throat> and then you can go apply it to your own work. So you can self critique as you go. When you go to write your journal article or conference presentation or book, you know, you remember that book review. Oh, that author did this or study this. I don't want to, I want to stay far away from that because that wasn't interesting. That was not an advance or the author presented their work in this way. And mm, I want to avoid that because that didn't resonate with me. It didn't make sense. You want to be a good a communicator. You want to discover your own strengths and weaknesses. And you do that by identifying strengths and weaknesses in other people's work. 